Well, you came to this video, you wanted to learn something. Well, I'm gonna teach you it. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so, if you don't think that this is a good look, then too bad. I think that it has its place for when you need to use it. So, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how I made it, and these techniques can really work on any type of project or look that you're going for. So we're just going to jump into the color page, and we're gonna be breaking this down quickly and swiftly, but still explaining, hopefully, enough. Now, just to sort of explain here, if I do a control D before this guy, we have everything perfectly clean, okay? it look It's clean, maybe it doesn't look perfect, but it's clean, okay? That's important. So, we made here four nodes for cleaning up our footage. So we're gonna start on them. Let's just turn off all these guys, perfect. Okay, and then without anything, this is how it looked. Now we just added some white balance, not added. Fix the white balance by just pressing down something white with that guy, easy enough. Contrast, whoa, big difference. That's over here. What I did is, this is how the footage looked. I needed to bring down those shadows. So, just went here, and from here I just brought it down, and then I enabled editable splines, and then I just pressed on this guy, and then played with that. Okay, yeah, that looks fine. And I brought this guy a tad bit up, not too much. Okay, so that just gives us some clean contrast. Now, skin. I played here a bit with the skin, but less with the hues, more with the saturation. So, first of all, I just go like this, and boom, scroll wheel, press on the scroll wheel to move that, and then just press on that. So now we're only going to be looking at that. Now this isn't too helpful for us now. Now we need vector scope. We can see I pretty much put it perfectly on the line, but before this guy, it wasn't perfectly on the line. It was really close, okay? Like, you can see it's really close and that usually is enough. But here I just gave it the smallest little push. You can also do that over there, just to sort of give it a bit more red. Now we can just close off that. And we can see this is pretty much our skin, this big blob. And the way that we're going to be making our saturation in this look, I just go here, saturation, press on it, brings me this guy, look, wait, hey, oopsie, let's go everything from the start, just press this button, that brings me here, and then I just sort of brought it right around here, if you could connect all these lines in your brain, and then just say, I want the tip to be around there. So that's just the look that I'm going for, obviously. It's not something that you always need, but for even in the correction here, I'm putting a bit of my look. Okay, now fix parades. We're gonna need to go here to parades and go here to this guy. Um, Prime of bars, whatever, okay. So if we see here before, what do we see? We see that these all are clipped, which makes sense. We have their crazy strong, not crazy strong, pretty much harsh light that has been clipped when we recorded, okay? We can even see before everything, it was still clipped. But if I look here before and after, if you look here, especially on the blue, a bit on the green, you can see that even a bit extra was clipped in our editing, okay? So let's see if we can get those back, okay? Let's go here and turn this on, and you can see we were able to make a bit back, not too much, but a bit, so we can just restart that, okay? And then I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Here if I scroll, this sort of brings it up and down. This is about the highlight. So, this is how it was, and I want you to keep your eye on this, okay? And then I'm lowering it bit by bit, and then literally right like there, that's perfect. The clip is clipped, but we just got a good chunk of extra here before, before after. We just got a bit extra. Okay, that's amazing. Now let's go to the green. The green has much less budge, but it still gives us a tad bit. We're gonna hear about one move, and it's a tiny bit, but it does make a little difference. Then the red, really, I don't think that there was much. We get there a bit, that little mountaintop, but this guy is unclipped, and that's fine, truthfully. Like, I'd rather get the mountaintop 
then have this guy fully clipped then that's really fine but let's say if we see here it's fine for this piece to be a tiny bit clipped it's a very small amount of your footage okay now that we got that out of the way i just made here a simple little look that i did i went here and wait i went here to the log to the log and i just gave it some color in there it totally ruined the reds please don't comment oh why do you ruin the reds because this is the look that i'm going for before the look you see everything was pretty much clean here after the look it can look however it wants if i really wanted a crazy look i could have went like this okay for the end and that is totally fine okay but what's important is that you can make your look how you want without it not working because you didn't have whatever or you lost too much detail and now you can't make that look so that's why it's important to do all the fixing before so then we can really make the looks that we want and pretty much embrace our creativity so with that out of the way hope you guys enjoyed this little editing part and let's just get, yeah, get to the outro go okay so you came to the end you got to the end what? Good job. Don't forget to subscribe and um, enter the giveaway. That's pretty much all I got to say. Let's go!